In this question, we have to prove that sec 3 pi by 2 minus theta multiplied by sec theta minus pi by 2 plus 10 5 pi by 2 plus theta multiplied by 10 theta minus 3 pi by 2 is equals to minus 1. So, we will start with left hand side. Sec 3 pi by 2 minus theta can be written as 1 by cos 3 pi by 2 minus theta and sec theta minus 5 pi by 2 can be written as 1 by cos minus of 5 pi by 2 minus theta plus 10 can be written as sine by cos so this will be equals to sine 5 pi by 2 plus theta whole divided by cos 5 pi by 2 plus theta and multiplied by sine minus of 3 pi by 2 minus theta whole divided by cos minus of 3 pi by 2 minus theta. Now we will use the identity that cos of minus theta is equals to cos theta and sine of minus theta is equals to minus sine theta. So we will get the values as 1 by cos 3 pi by 2 minus theta multiplied by 1 by cos 5 pi by 2 minus theta plus sine 5 pi by 2 plus theta whole divided by cos 5 pi by 2 plus theta and this is multiplied by minus of sine 3 pi by 2 minus theta divided by cos 3 pi by 2 minus theta and this is equals to minus 1 by sine theta because cos 3 pi by 2 minus theta is equals to minus sine theta and cos 5 pi by 2 minus theta is equals to sine theta so it will be multiplied by sine theta plus of sine pi by 2 minus theta is equals to minus of cos theta because sine pi by 2 plus theta is minus cos theta whole divided by sine theta because cos pi by 2 plus theta is sine theta multiplied by minus of now sine 3 pi by 2 minus theta is minus cos theta so its value will be minus cos theta whole divided by again 3 pi by 2 minus theta is minus sine theta so simplifying terms we get minus 1 by sine square theta plus cos square theta by sine square theta and this will be equals to minus 1 by sine square theta taking out common terms and we will left with 1 minus cos square theta now use the identity that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 so this implies that 1 minus cos square theta is equals to sine square theta and now using this the value of this identity we get this as minus 1 by sine square theta multiplied by sine square theta and this will be equals to minus 1 and the minus 1 value is equals to our right hand side and this is what we need to prove in this question